Hope you're doing well. Here's my Brightleaf um, chopper. Now this is a prototype piece. And uh, one of the things I'm trying out, you have been following, this has got a partial tang. The tang comes to about there in the handle. So it's, uh, I don't know, four and a half or so inches long. Starts about here. So the tang, as you can see, comes up, I'm sorry, comes up to about here, comes down, ends about here. It's approximately half an inch wide, quarter inch thick. All right, so I have uh, two and a half, three inches, say two and a half, two and three quarters inches of handle with no tang there, three piece construction. Um, 13 and a half inch blade. I did anneal this as far as the tang goes because it was um, singular heat treated to 6061 HRC. This is an 01. See that the uh, spine is rounded. Not a little bit of taper at the end, not a super taper. Um, blade's been reground and it's a uh, Got a convex, but there between the primary and secondary averages about 13 thousandths. All right, and may be too thin. One of the things that will help determine is cutting um, small diameter wood. All right, you know, inch, inch and a half, two inches or less. So I had this big pile of wood that I've been planning on moving here, and I've got a lot of pieces in here. Like this is pecan that you can see I've got anywhere from half an inch to almost two inches. So I'm gonna, um, it's all, this is all dry and just you know, hard dead wood. So we're gonna chop through this stuff, some of this, the, the pieces that fit that criteria and see what kind of damage we get from the edge. Another thing about doing this today with this handle design I've got, it's about 94 degrees out here, high humidity. So if I had any uh, handle slipping problems with my hands wet, I'll find out pretty quick. I think this is a piece of holly right here.
All right. So that's all I feel like doing today. So let's look at this edge. I don't see any damage so far. <laughs>